Hello and welcome to Caravan Escapades. If this is your first time, a big, big warm welcome to you. Um, if you've been around before and you're one of our subscribers or you've been following us for a bit, thanks very much. Your support is really very, very much appreciated. Um, blimey, my hair. Um, as you can see, it's all getting a bit wiry and a bit messy now. Um, I have got a haircut booked in for the 12th of April at 3.30, um, but I don't know, I'm getting a bit unsure whether actually to have too much trimmed off. Now it's kind of getting long and it's getting a bit sort of curly and wavy and a bit that sort of messed up look. I'm not sure whether I like it or not. Um, so I tell you what, leave me a comment. Do you think I should get my hair cut um, shorter or do you think I should leave it as it is and keep this messy sort of wavy look? Anyway, that's enough about me and my hair. Um, what I want to chat to you today about is this thing here. Uh, when I can pick it up, it is the um, 40 litre Halfords uh, electric call box runs uh, both off 12, 24 volts um, and basically you say you can put it into the mains and the 24 volts. Now, um, Halfords, um, is it a good brand? In my opinion, it is. And the reason for that is I've had the predecessor to this call box for probably 18 years now um, and it hasn't skipped a beat in all that time it's still been working um, well the only reason i'm kind of thinking of upgrading and changing is literally the internal impellers are getting really thick and dirty and black and because it's a sealed unit there's no way of cleaning those out and what i don't want to do is to be going away relying on it and it failing um, so that's why i've gone for another half as one because the last one was absolutely fantastic uh, and lasted me really well Retail at the moment at £100. I'll put a link down below or in the comments below um, to where you can uh, where you can get it either online. Now, again, I managed to get um, some discount. I managed to get another 10% off through um, through being a veteran. Um, whether there are other discounts available, I'm not sure. But for 90 quid, I didn't think that was too bad. So why don't we open a box and see what's inside? Okay, so the box is fully sealed. Um, let me use one of our key rings to try and get some of this plastic wrapping off. Um, hopefully making sure it all doesn't blow away. In the meantime, it is a little bit windy. Uh, and let's try and break the tape seal on the box. Like so. So plenty of foam packaging by the local polystyrene packaging. Um, 40 litres should be a good size. Um, we can use it both in the car and out of the car. One of the things I liked about this one is um, it also has um, some wheels and a handle, so it can be quite portable. So let's just take that out there. Let me just put all the bits in the box securely. Um, so let's have a look here. So let's take it out of the bag. Let's try and just move it. Ah, oh, the bag's taped up, that's why we're struggling. So let's get, remove it from the bag. And again, let's put that in there. And let's bring it back round to where you can see it. Um, so, what we've got here is we've got two um, handles. In fact, that hand handle comes out there. Uh, and this is your draggy box so you can move it backwards and forwards so you've got two handles for lifting and then one for dragging or pulling along uh, you've got two wheels they look reasonably robust and solid so we've got the two wheels there um, let's make sure you can still see that so inside okay so we've got two separate compartments set of instruction books with a spare fuse um, two compartments what i like about these two compartments and this is the same with the other one i don't know how well you can see that whether you can see those two compartments in there obviously you can remove them there are different positions that you can put them in so you can put them in the various i've missed the slotted that one missed that so let's get that in there he said so two compartments like that and you can slot and move them around yeah. because there we go now what i really liked about having the two compartments and i guess this is still the case is the old system what you can do is you can stand it on its end open the door and you've got yourself a fridge with shelves so you've got a fridge there 
that you could use with different shelves and that sort of thing as well. So I did like that, or I do like the use of that. Um, they are a little bit lined up because it narrows at the bottom. You kind of got to get it quite lined up. There we go, and they've got two pieces to lock in. So, and then around the back here, what we've got at the back is um, it says push. Oh, okay, so this is straightforward enough. So what we've got here, um, we have the. Um, 12 volt connection so standard cigarette lighter um, connection and we have a mains plug um, and we've got the max and minimum control I suspect this is to allow you to swap between um, sorry turn it up from quite cold um, or just to sort of chilled off that sort of stuff so yeah so we've got quite a length there we go so you've got quite a length on both the mains and the um, 12 volt and they do seem to have a tendency or there's a little compartment if you slide it there we go you kind of push it away inside there and it does seem to want to go so the plug seem to want to go back in there um, whether we can get that fitted all nicely in there a little bit fiddly perhaps but not too bad nothing too drastic um, no leads to lose as with the old one it was a separate lead and you come to come and use it and you think oh where's the lead gone where have I put the lead uh, that sort of stuff let's see how well so yeah um, okay yeah so no so that's all so that's all locked and put into place there or then maybe it could do with being tucked away a little bit better than it is so shove some of the more of the cable in there. That's it. it just there's kind of a void in the lid. Um, so you just want to sort of chuck it away inside there like that. And then what you should be able to do is literally just fold it down and shut it in place. It's probably uh, that's because we've got a piece caught here. Probably not the most firmest of, of catches for locking this away, but um, it should be okay. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's one of those where push to open. That's it, and then push again to lock. So push it to open, and then push it again to lock. So all in all, reasonably well built. Um, let's have a quick flick through. Yeah, I like that. Um, and it's got some cutouts in the bases as well. Um, what looks like is for. Um, oh, that's good as well. So it's got some cutouts in the bases as well, um, probably just for sort of standing bottles in. Um, some cutouts in the lid as well to take the tops of your larger bottles. And I don't know how well you can see this, um, but right in the bottom of here is a little rubber drain plug. Um, now in previous times we've had a lot of water and condensation build up inside the um, the cool boxes before and that's a great little addition so you can literally just pull that out and the um, condensation etc will drop away so let's have a quick look at the instruction book uh, but like most men um, I have a quick glance give up after the first page um, and then throw it all away so 40, uh, 40 litre electric cool box instructions item code thank you for purchasing the cool box uh, general setup blah 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 um, eco mode, the cooling, yeah, that's so it was the cooling knob is located inside the cable storage compartment to increase the cooling, turn the cooling control knob counterclockwise towards max to decrease the cooling, turn the cooling control knob clockwise towards minimum. When the core box is connected to 12 or 24 volt DC socket, it cools at the maximum setting and the cooling cannot be adjusted. So the adjustment is only for when it's at 240 volts, then. So um, when you connect it to um, the DC to your vehicle, to your caravan, that's Sort of thing you can only um, you can only call at maximum um, keep it in a ventilated position obviously you've got your fan unit there don't let it um, get covered over and then it just goes through troubleshooting so there's not a lot to it there's not a great deal to it so that is the Halfords 40 litre um, 12 and 24 volt cool box So that was our new call box. As I said, Halfords brand. Um, 
And the reason I went for the Halfords brand again is because I've had the other Halfords one or the previous Halfords one for, oh, it's got to be somewhere between 16 and 20 years, certainly quite a while, and it's been absolutely fine. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, yeah, quite pleased with the way it is and the way it's going to work. So we'll see how we get on with that. Obviously, once we start getting out and about in there, we'll feature it in, um, in some of the vlogs and uh, we'll let you know how it's getting on. So that's another one from Caravan Escapades. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Give us a thumbs down if you don't. Please feel free to comment below because your comments are great and we certainly answer all the comments that we get and it's great to interact with you guys. So please don't forget to certainly like the, um, the vlog, uh, subscribe to the channel which will be great um, and certainly share it, share it if you liked it and, and don't forget to tick the notifications bell and that will notify you when new vlogs are coming out. So that's another one from us. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thank you.